And that's what I love about Terry is like when he hears from God, he's just obedient. And that's how I am. When I hear from God, I'm just obedient. And I don't know, you put two people like that together and God's just going to make yes. it work, I think. Amen. You know, sometimes people think it'll just be easy, like God will just download it all to you, you know? <laughs> yes. He worked hard. There's, you know, like when's the last time we, we go and we read and we, we get better at something and we give God room to work? He knows what know. we're capable of even before we tap into it. Right. Mm. Like, mm. It's going to be unfamiliar territory, but to him it's like, you think it's unfamiliar, but you just don't know how great you are for it. Hey, and welcome to Winning Conversations. We are so glad you are here today. Dan and I have some really special guests today, yes, don't we? we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, some fan favorites, some would say. Absolutely. <laughs> We've had both of these guys on the podcast before. We have Natasha Powell and Terry Miner. We're Hi glad guys. to have y'all. Thanks for having us. Thank yeah. you. Thank and we, you. we have you for a very uh, special and exciting reason, and that's because you guys have uh, authored and illustrated a book together, right? Yes. We have this book. Just like Jesus, it is the most precious children's book that I have ever read. It's super sweet. Wow, um, but we wanted to take an, a moment to really hear about how this book came to pass and all yes. of the things. Like, I think it's it's super cool. I know my kids have loved it. My kids like to go back to it and look at the pictures and talk about the different jobs and stuff like that. Yay. So, um, so. Miss so Natasha, when we tell me about it. So, okay, so I got the idea. One day we were in our yard, and my husband and I were watching his cousin uh, use an excavator machine. And uh, he was the excavator operator, and there was a big brush pile left in our yard from the previous owners, so he was helping us scoot it all together. And I'm like, wow, look at that. He's moving mountains out of the way, because that used to be a song we'd sing in children's church, F-A-I-T-H, moving mountains out of the way, you know. And, and uh, so then that just caught on and we started talking about how jobs you could be just like jesus and uh and then you know and he and then he'd wanted to stump me and he's like well what about a professional athlete and i had to think for a second like how how are they just like jesus and i then i was like well they're they're on a winning team just like jesus and the disciples you know and Mm -hmm. and uh, he's like wow i wish i had a job that was like that and i'm like you are you're you help people get what they need you know because he's in sales and and so then from that like every day it just seems like the holy spirit would just reveal a job to me and make me think about how they were just like Jesus. And so I started writing it down, just started writing each thing down. And, uh, I just thought maybe, maybe this could be a kid's book because my husband's like, you need to write a kid's book about this. And I was like, well, maybe. So then I would just write them all down. And then eventually I had a bunch written down and, and the Holy Spirit every time would give me a verse to go with each career. And so I would write that down with it. And sometimes I would think about a career, how they were just like Jesus, but I wouldn't have a verse. But then later the Holy Spirit would give it, give me another verse. So I feel like I didn't even write the book. Like God gave, gave me all of the pages and then I just wrote them in pen. You know what I mean? And so it's really his book and that's probably why kids like it. (laughs) Well, it's so good. I love the scripture iteration and tying each job to the word is really powerful because people forget that like every single job matters, you yes, know, yes, you don't have to that, be behind a pulpit. That was what I wanted people to know too. I've had like his cousin helping us with, he would, he just came over for, and for free helped us. And there've been so many people in my life who have come in and out and in different careers, not ministry, you know, not at the church. Like, you know, like when I had Brooklyn, the nurse I had, sometimes I feel like, was that an angel? Was she real? You know? And, Aww. um, and so the, I just feel like there's so many people who do the work of God that, and they don't even think about it. And I wanted people to know that you can be, you are just like Jesus in, in different careers. You don't have to be in ministry or at the church to be like Jesus. You know, it's such a blessing. And it's such a blessing for those people, like his cousin helping us with the brush pile and that nurse I had. And so many careers in this book are from people that have blessed me in my life. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Now, how did you guys get connected? So you write the book, you have the, the, the words written down and the scriptures to go with it. How did, how did the next steps come about? So we didn't, we didn't really know. So one day we're at a minister's conference and Terry's there and, and we knew he kind of did websites and stuff. So my husband comes up to him in the foyer and we're on a break or something between sessions. And he's like, Hey, you know, have you, you know, have you ever thought about doing illustrations? My wife wrote a book and and he was like super busy, but yeah. he listened to him. And at first he's like, um, I don't know, you know, let me think yeah. about it. And then, and then you can tell him what happened. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I was so busy with my schedule at first. It was like, oh, 
you know, I don't, I'm not sure if it could actually just work out and I can fully commit to it. But after uh, a few moments at home and away for a while, uh, maybe just a few weeks in prayer, the peace of God just completely just covered me from the inside out. And I just knew that this was something that God wanted me to do. And I knew from also just my walk with the Lord that when that when his peace just comes on you so strong, even if it seems like it's something you haven't did before or you don't see how it could work, but when his peace is there first, then that tells you, regardless of your schedule, what's going on in your life, he's he already sees the way for it to be made where it can fit and it'll work perfect. So that's awesome. I just trusted that and, 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 and we just stepped right into it. <laughs> and that's what I love about Terry is like when he hears from God, he's just obedient. And that's how I am. When I hear from God, I'm just obedient. And I don't know, you put two people like that together and God's just going to make yes. it work, I think. Amen. <laughs> and you've never done like graphic design for what's the, what's the the style of design this is you said it earlier well uh, this is kid lit so i've um i've always done graphic design and, and and some kind of cartoon illustrations but i've never did kid lit so kid lit is basically a short term for kid literature which mm -hmm. is basically just children's books so the children's book art style is an art style that if you sit on any bookshelf it's like oh it seems simple and easy but you don't realize <laughs> how that right. i've just, i've learned many other well seasoned Children's book illustrators have all had the exact same initial response. Like, oh, that looks easy. And then you try it, it's like, oh, wait a minute. That's just like a kid. It's just like a car or something. Like, what? And then you, it's a whole different uh, mindset of just approaching anatomy. I mean, just everything just as a whole. So, yeah. Well, it's not. So I, I do have a graphic design background. So I right. looked at this book and I'm like, this is beautiful. And not Thank just you. the illustrations, but how they went with what was being spoken. And that is a very yeah. delicate dance. To say, hey, I need the words and the images to match. That right. is not an easy thing to do. Yes. And you guys did such a great job with it. I mean, like, I was I was reading this book, and I'm like, I was blown away. I really was truly impressed on all fronts. Like, just the words, the scriptures, the rhyming, the the cadence of it all with the images. I was like, this is, this is wonderful. <laughs> this yes. is great. Yeah. I mean, God is good. I, I would tell Terry, like, this, like, I would say what I want for this page. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like this, maybe. And he... And sometimes, and he would draw, and he would just draw, and it would look, I mean, I feel like the Holy Spirit was so good yes. teaming us together, because yes. sometimes he would even draw the picture when I, and I would forget to tell him something I wanted in the picture, and it would be in the picture. Yes. Like, mm -hmm. it was, wow, it was she said unbelievable. quite a bit, yeah. I mean, That's amazing. the Holy Spirit is, he's amazing. That's a good word. He's amazing. When we yes. would just allow him to use us, mm -hmm. he is amazing. And then it makes us look amazing, but it's really just him, you know? <laughs> yes, it is him. So. That's right. Yeah. Well, it's two people who God called yeah. to put something in the earth that's going to like change generations. Amen. So it's super, Amen. it's Amen. super exciting. I, I appreciate your guys' obedience in that for sure. What yeah. are some of the lessons y'all learned on the way? Wow. I, you know, I just always appreciate people, but like even working with Terry, like I guess some things I had to learn was to communicate. And then even <laughs> I would be afraid to like, if, if I didn't like something or I wanted a different color, I would kind of be afraid to tell him, you know, mm -hmm. not really a different color, I guess, but maybe like something changed. Yeah. And I would kind of be afraid, you know, to Yeah, she was at first, but I was like, no, like, like bring it on. Like, yeah, tell have, me the feedback. I yeah. like, like, for, there's, you know how we learn ourselves as time goes by, and it's from years and years ago, I've learned like I, I do so well under pressure, like I really do. And he, so it's like I want you to be just be direct. Yep. I don't like this. I want it this way. That way I can actually get to the work, pray, and say, all right, God, let, now let's go execute. And, and he was amazing because I'm serving her. I'm, I mean, I'm he made her it husband, easy. You know? He was so easy to work yeah. with, and that, I feel like that's how God makes it when when he. D when he develops it and he puts it together, it should be easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. you know, like there are going to be hard times and we go through tribulation. I understand all that, but you know, like, but you can go through it. Like, is it Dr. Savelle who said, you know, you can go through a troubled world untroubled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's kind of how it was. Like I, I learned courage. I learned to speak up for myself. I learned, and he, he helped me with that, you know? And so he made me better. Like, to be able to like, yes, just tell him, just tell him what I want. And, and so I would be able to text him and I would be kind of nervous, like, you know, like, well, can we do this? You know? And every time he's like, sure, you know, and, yeah. and he was just wonderful. He was wonderful to work with and he made, made me better, you know? Awesome. I it, think it's mutual. Yes. Mutual, mutual, huh? Yeah. Oh yes. Well, Very. and you said this is a totally different style. Oh, so you, yes. you did a lot of research yes. into how do, how do you even draw this type of style? Well, I went back to the basics. So, 
even before this style, it was just how I, I made sure I stopped and went to the basics of how to draw in general. Although I've already did some commission work here and there, maybe like a cartoon illustration, something like that. But it was nothing even near this style. Although I've always loved that style. You know, it stands out to you. You see those children's books and those bright colors and the big eyes, right? Like people are drawn to that. So when I learned, like, you know, that's the niche and, and, and everybody loves that. I went um, I, I went to get books, uh, some in store and some online. And I spent about three to five hours a night at my kitchen table just studying the basics from preschool. I got preschool level to college level of how to draw fundamentals and shapes. You know, everything starts from a little square. Or, yep. as, as you know, a circle or a triangle, a sphere, yep. Starts or, real, or a rectangle. Yeah. That's everything. Mm-hmm. And that's everything. And once your eyes are now trained and conditioned under that, you you no longer really just see people. I see shapes. I don't see a lamp. I see shapes. And I see perspective. And like, and so that's what enables you to be able to, whatever she wants, it's like, by the grace of God and that confidence, <laughs> I can deliver it now. So yeah. it built that... It, it was building that confidence and whatever she was wanting and how she was wanting it to the point where it was like, I'm excited. So it's like, whatever you want, I feel like I'm going to be able to do it now and just execute. So yeah. I it mean, was fun. Yeah. I think it's amazing that somebody can take, take some, go and get books, teach himself to do this. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't give himself enough props maybe because <laughs> You guys, he was amazing. He he would read books. He would send me things he was looking and reading and learning. Like, he learned as he was doing this. Yes, literally. And so he, you know, sometimes people think it'll just be easy. Like, God will just download it all to you, you know? <laughs> uh-uh. yes. He worked hard. There's, he he yeah. did the research. He took the time. He did the reading. He he just, imp- like, he he improved himself. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know when's the last time that I... You know, like, when's the last time we, we go and we read and we, we get better at something and we give God room to work? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's what he did. And, he, yes. and I, I feel like he did it for me. So I'm so yes. <laughs> thankful. I, you know, like, it was a, it was a team, team oh, effort. Yes. But he, I feel like he put in so much effort for me. And, I, and anyways. Countless you nights. You can tell I, I, just, <laughs> I have love verse it for was, him. <laughs> we, was, we was just, man, like, what, either, even back and forth, potentially back and forth, and it would be like, Oh, I can't send this update because I'm so excited. I look, I'm like, oh, it's 3.45 a.m., so don't send it just yet. Because it was, I, I was starting to, in, in mornings, and a lot of nights would go up until the, that time, 3 to 4 a.m. is a lot. Because I'm, it's, it wasn't just like, just so much of just learning and making sure I'm doing it right. I was literally, it, uh, uh, like, a switch, like, a, a switch would just flip on, and I was just, like, full-blown excited like a kid. I'm just learning. Whatever I, then I would go outside and see something, go inside the house, draw it. I would see something uh, uh, still in the movie, take a, a, a screenshot, draw it. And then it came mm-hmm. to the point where no matter what I could see, it's like I would go into stores and literally like, man, our illustrations, like just being just how I was seeing, I was like, it's starting to match what I'm seeing like on shelves. And then so I would take out my phone and hold up some illustrations and put it next to a book and stop random people who was walking by and said, you could you see this next to this? And then they was like, oh, yeah, of course. And everything talking. But then when I told them I drew that, then all of a sudden they get loud in the eye. What? You drew it? <laughs> it was like, oh, wow. And so but I was just like testing those waters and seeing like, you know, in that comparison as well of, of a professional standard. And the Lord brought a, um, the Lord brought a couple of people to be to become mentors and friends to me who are professionals with right. those agencies who are doing those books all over the planet. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. And. If I had a question, hey, what about this with a perspective or anatomy? They would they would shoot right back with an answer, and wow. and we never had to slow down because of anything. It was it was it it, it was a grace for, it and whatever was needed was just supplied. Like, he has supernatural favor. Hey, favor of God. super that's, favor. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I was like, it's a favor of God yeah. over and over. The whole process is favor of God. It's a favor of God. Yeah. Well, so. and it it's also faith with corresponding action yes. produces things. So so just like you said, God may have dropped this idea in your heart, and you. There's always a learning curve. There's always things that we get to we get to walk out the steps. It doesn't matter what God's called us to. Call this podcast what it is. Like we didn't know what we were doing when we started, right? <laughs> we had zero of this knowledge. But faith with corresponding action means you you take the time to study. You yep, study, yes. you you hear from God. What is God saying that this project needs to be like? Mm-hmm. What is what do I need to put in my life? What what resources like the people, the mm-hmm. experts, the mm-hmm. the professional illustrators, mm-hmm. what kind of people need to come in my life, and then yes. being in tune with the Holy Spirit. I think that's a powerful that's a mm-hmm. powerful lesson. No, everyone so, needs a Brad. Yeah, everyone. Like it, everyone it, needs everyone a Brad. Everyone needs a Brad. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> Let's just give credit where credit's Swiss due. Swiss Army for this. tool for all yes. things. Um, yeah. Well, speaking of your process, and this is the kind of thing I think people don't realize is what was from like start to finish. Like how long was this process? Oh, uh, 
11, about 11, 11 and a half months. And, I, and the funny thing about how she kept mentioning the Holy Spirit's help, I was experiencing that from my side as well with how I was planning and presenting structure and plans to her. And then a week or two later, go online and find out that's how all the professionals already have it set. And I never knew any of that knowledge. Like you have a sketch phase first. Yep. Mm-hmm. After the sketch phase, the, the, the sketch phase is approved. Then you have your color phase, mm-hmm. and then you have your text and formatting and all this. So, and I'm just, you know, telling her by faith as I know I'm being led. But I'm like, I don't know if it's gonna make sense to her or not at all. But this is what I'm, this is what I'm getting in here. So I'm gonna deliver it. And then I go online and find out that's how everybody does it. I, I had no clue. But he was just leading us the entire time, both of us, as we that's just came neat. together as a team and. Whatever she saw on her end, whatever I saw on my end, it was like it all matched whatever industry standard right. is. And we both had no knowledge of how they operated <laughs> right. in that world with all that. So that was just amazing. Well, and then after I got his amazing illustrations, I, I've, my text was just simple text, you know, about the career and, and how they were just like Jesus. And I'm like, I got to step it up. So, <laughs> I, so then I, I remember, you know, when, when Brooklyn was little, I would read her books and I really liked the ones that had rhyming tags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and she would remember that and it was just fun. And so I'm like, you know what, I need to, I need this, my text needs to rhyme. And so, so then, uh, so then once his amazing illustrations were there, I'm like, okay, I got to stuff this up. So we, so then I went to God and I prayed and I would every day just take one career and just, Lord, how can I write this? So, so it's rhyming, you know, mm-hmm. and, um, I've just, you know, give it to God every day and just work on a couple of them a day or whatever. And, and he was just faithful. He was faithful. The Holy Spirit was faithful yes. to, to, you know, step it up for me. So my text could be as good as his illustrations. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a testament to operating in the spirit of excellence. Like when you look yeah, at professional sure. athletes or rappers or singers, like even like I was in the studio late recently, but like when somebody goes in a booth and they record their bars and they come back out and, and people was already written and recorded, they're like, all right, man, I'm going to erase mine and then let me go back to writing yeah. some more. But it's, you're, you're, you're sharpening each other and to, to, to go after excellence. And that's what we want to do. Yeah, so. that's awesome. So it was fun. Yeah. It was do you guys have fun. a favorite page or a favorite? Oh, every uh, day it's career. different. We Yeah, it was a year really? straight of, 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 of each other talking about our different favorite pages that kept coming up. Like the first one that stuck probably the longest and it keeps coming back up is the lineman page, the guy working on the power yeah, lines. Yeah, yeah. That's that, was my, page. That, that was my third sketch. Yeah, that was your Whose idea was the, the third one? Excuse me. Whose idea was the bird? My, I know. And I love the bird. That's like one of my favorite parts. I, yeah. If you guys don't, you have a You're chance to go get the to book. Get You're going to have to get the book to get yeah. the inside scoop here. I know we're talking, but that photo has such beautiful, that's what I notice on things. I, I design, the you just details. notice little details mm-hmm. that don't belong, but are there that add so much life to the photo. You know what I mean? It's like the rhyming. There's just little things that make it uniquely beautiful. And like that bird, I, I, I'm like, why is that? Like, what a good See, idea for that bird. <laughs> that was and that was me just flowing in creativity. And she didn't know that. So I'm thinking, I hope she doesn't say remove it because I really like it. And then I said to her, she was like, she gave her a critique and all this. And she was like, I love the little bird. I was like, yes. So <laughs> it's to keep it. <laughs> it's funny. I like the bird too. I, I love do it. love the bird. Like That's there's awesome. there's details throughout. If you're, if you're like, where's Waldo type situations, there's yes. little details yes. throughout this entire book mm-hmm. that are just little beautiful nuggets that if you pay attention, you'll, you'll just layer after layer, you'll find some really great stuff. So I, just, I again, I applaud you guys. It's such a beautiful Thank work. You. Awesome. And then now that you guys have had a chance and it's been out for how long now? Since January. Since January. Since January. So um, this is May now. Yes. What kind of testimonies or stories have you heard back from people who've had an opportunity to read it? share yours yes um i remember um you know after the illustrator finishes the book and it's all finalized shortly after that the illustrator gets sent the illustrator copies um the ones you keep for yourself or bless somebody with or whatever and so i went to the post office and you know how they have the big counter at the post office and i was like I'm not waiting till I get in the truck. I'm opening this. <laughs> I'm going to open this right here, right this now. Came early. Yeah. So I, I, I was so excited. I said, I pulled out my pocket knife. It just went straight to cut, and I just spread them on the counter. So it's like all spread out. And this lady walks up as I'm looking over the book, and I'm just like, what? Like, because it's different when you know you're drawing digitally, right? And everything's mm-hmm. all freehand, and you can send a file, and, and that's awesome. But to, it's it's so it hits so different mm-hmm. when you can actually hold something that you worked on. Yep. It's the physical, the physical copy, right? Nothing oh, beats yeah. a physical copy at the end of the day. And I'm just sitting there like, what in the world, Lord? What are you doing? And this is what I'm thinking as I'm looking at the book. And this lady just walks up out of nowhere. And she's like just looking like, okay, well, this guy sent her all these kid books. Let me see what, what is he staring at. <laughs> and she says, 
we need more books just like that, don't we? And she's, because she read the title. Mm. And she saw that just like Jesus, real big in blue letters. And I turned to her and said, yes, we do. And then I said, as a matter of fact, I illustrated it. And then she said, what? And then so I went ahead and, and I saw she had on the scrubs, the uh, nurse scrubs. And so I went ahead and uh, flipped uh, to, to, to the nurse page and other pages and was just showing her how this book is a tool for ministry mm -hmm. and how just because, you know, you may not be like others, make mm -hmm. suit and tie or dress and preach it behind a pulpit, doesn't mean you can't be like Jesus. You can be like right. Jesus in that nursing room, how you love on the babies and Come spend on. time with them and, or, and and whatever your responsibilities are. But when I was mentoring, when I was just slowing down. Like, you know, it's kind of like evangelizing where you slow down with that individual that you're spending time with. Don't rush. Just spend time with them. Mm -hmm. because, and, and, and so I just took my time with her and just ministered to her through the book, mm -hmm. page by page. And her eyes just started just super tearing up. And then um, she ended up buying a copy. And then uh, I, I made sure she knew on that at the end of the book where our websites was because she's playing, she had planned to buy some copies for her youth group mm -hmm. and stuff. So that's, that's awesome. That's fantastic. That's just, one of, that's, that's just one of the testimonies I've got. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, just people saying this is going to minister to more than just kids. And yes. I, which... Oh. I'm just so, yes, yes, Lord, you know, let it minister to so many people, everybody who touches it, everybody who reads it, old and young, you know, and I just pray that everyone who holds the book or, you know, would just feel the love of God and, mm -hmm. I don't know, I, I just want them to be touched by God, you know, yes. when they read the book. Right. So it's good to get those, to hear those things from people yes. um, that, you know, that they were ministered to and, um and we talked about that on the phone when you called me and, and we were talking about how yep. God isn't going to just be speaking to kids on this. He's going to intentionally, he had you led to intentionally make this book because there's certain adults that he's trying to reach and it's going to take them sitting down with their kids to read them a book. Mm -hmm. Thinking they're just reading to their kids and all of a sudden it's going to hit them. A yeah. revelation when they read. Yes, and maybe encourage people book. who are in these jobs that think their jobs mm -hmm. don't matter mm -hmm. or that they don't matter, you know. And yes. like I appreciate people who pick up my trash. You know, the garbage right. collector. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I appreciate that, mm -hmm. you know. I want them to know, like, that is an important job in this earth, you know. Yes. Right. Yes. And, I, you know, I hope it encourages people in whatever job, even if their job wasn't included or their career wasn't included in this book, that they would realize that, that it's important, that what they do is important, and they're there for a reason. And look around you, you know. You can be just like Jesus no matter where you are. Amen. But he would okay. call me, encourage me. I mean, he was so encouraging through the whole thing. He would call, Tasha, you know, he'd call it like, I don't even know what time. And yep. he'd be like, Tasha, I, this book, this book is going to minister. I know this is going to minister to people. Yes. And he yes. would be encouraging through the whole yes. process and yes. just tell me like some revelation God gave him. Mm -hmm. And we would encourage each other and call yes. it and text each other and, and it's good to have a Christian, another Christian to work with. It's, yeah. sure. it's impossible to hang out with Terry and not be inspired to do For something. For sure, and right? It's just, it's just, it's the yeah. entire energy he brings is, all right, I'm going to conquer the world today. Come all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm Yo. doing. Like, oh, Are my God. Are coming? Because we're going. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Amen. But to Let's that, I think what you guys are kind of like, I don't think glossing over, but the thing that I think I want people to understand is what saying yes looks like when you're called to something that might seem at first like yeah. a Herculean yeah. task. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing how to draw this style or mm -hmm. anything. It's writing a book. Like, like if the Lord says, hey, do something, you're like, I don't, that's not my wheelhouse. That's not my talent set. Sure. Like, yeah. what is like saying yes to that like? Yes. Awesome. Yes. Mm. Awesome. It's a great answer. Yes, it is. I mean, it's, yeah. He I, knows I what know. we're capable of even before we tap into it. Right. Mm. Like, just, mm. it's going to be unfamiliar territory, but to him, it's like, you think it's unfamiliar, but. You just don't know how great you are for it. Because when she, it was a few weeks before it was finalized, and she said, I'm going to make a uh, change when it takes a so hold on for a minute. And then you can't, because remember, it didn't rhyme at first. Right. And then you came back and you added the rhyme. I was like, yo, I caught her. I was <laughs> like, this is fire. <laughs> and I was like, it already was, but it's even better now. And then I was like, okay, yeah, now we're ready to go ahead and get ready to release it. So mm -hmm. yeah. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. we, went, we went and looked at Amazon where it sold at and yes. looked at what people were saying about the book because my kids loved it. And I have three boys, and they even noticed who you put in there. They're like, they're like this looks like Miss Gina, like people <laughs> yeah. that they knew. And so, and so even though they have a, a personal connection with this book, there are other people that, that purchased it and found it. And this is what I just wanted to share some of these with you. I don't know if you all saw them or not. But it says, in the day where adults put so much pressure on kids by asking them, what will you be when you grow up? There is an answer. I'm going to be just like Jesus, regardless of your job, career, or hobby. 
the one goal is the same, to love others and be like Jesus. I recommend this book to anyone who interacts with children. Excellent. Yay. I think that just, you, you know, like <laughs> it's touching people's lives across the world. I know we give them to new people who come through our children's ministry and stuff like that, but also know that it's like, it's really making a big difference to anybody who picks up the book. So Praise thank God. you guys yeah. for being Praise obedient. Thank no, you. I, I love because I mean it's this world we like especially with men I mean women as well but like like what you do is kind of defines you sometimes and that question is such a real like what right? do you do what are you going to be when you what grow are you going to be when you grow yeah. up mm -hmm. that can be a a weight that we put on people it's children specifically I mean you know youth ministry that that is just an unnecessary burden mm -hmm. but when you just give them the green light be like Jesus like mm -hmm. if you get that right everything else mm -hmm. falls into place you know right. it, it, so often we get that reverse like I'm gonna try and yeah. be someone and then yeah. fit Jesus into it. Mm -hmm. Versus right. saying, I need to be like Jesus and he fits everywhere. You know, like mm -hmm. it's just a, a perfect perspective shift that I think this book nails. Yes. You know, it just absolutely nails, which mm -hmm. I love. I love. Amen. So thinking about this book and thinking about the project and, and what God put into it and stuff, in light of what our house is about, which is making winners in life, when you think about what it takes, what it means to take on a project that you maybe don't feel fully equipped for or know what to do, can you speak to what it means to be a winner in life? with God, cool God projects like this? Yes. Trusting God, trusting God. You know, sometimes you don't know how it will go and you don't know, you know, you know, it's step by step. Like faith is step by step. And, you know, there's a verse in Nehemiah that says um, they were talking about rebuilding the wall of Jerusalem. And Nehemiah had told them that we, you know, we're gonna, we need to rebuild it. Let's rebuild the wall. And they replied, let's rebuild the wall. So they began the good work. And then Nehemiah replied in Nehemiah 2.20, the God of heaven will help us succeed. We, his servants, will start rebuilding the wall. And sometimes that's what it is. First, we are his servants. We are his servants. We want to do what he wants us to do. And God will help us succeed, but sometimes we just have to start. That's right. Just start. Right. Start by writing it down. If he's telling you something, write it down. If, you know, wherever, whatever he's saying you know, I keep a notebook of things God says to me, and I write everything down, and I can refer back to it, like from years ago. Like I have some, something God said to me in 2005, you know, and now I can still go back and see when that was. And, you know, just I think it always comes down to making room for God to work. Write things down, mm -hmm. um, listen to him, trust him, and just keep moving, keep moving. That's right, 100%. Making winners in life. I keep agree. moving. A scripture, a scripture I want to add to that is um, Isaiah 41, 13, where it says, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. And so it's like you want to be able to see God, you know, make you a winner in life. Those two verses, thir uh, 13 and 10, I, I uh, read those scriptures often, and 10 is saying the same thing. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. So it's like over and over, he keeps telling us, don't be afraid. I'm going to hold your hand through this. And so that's the assurance that we need as believers when he's urging us and putting something on our heart to step into that's unfamiliar. It's like, no, he's going to hold my hand through this. All he, all, all he needs is our yes. Yes. That's we didn't awesome. know everything when we started. We didn't know hardly anything. No. Nah. We, you said, Holy, I don't know anything at all. Right. But some, <laughs> sometimes we feel like we have to know everything. Right. We have yes. to know everything. Yes. We have to have right. all this education. We have to, you know, just, we have to know how it's going to go. And, mm -hmm. and that's just not how God works. Mm -hmm. Very rarely, very yes. rarely do you know how it's all going to work out. And do you, you know, and he takes... What does Dr. Svell always say? He takes nobodies and makes champions out of nobodies. Yes, right. Right. You don't have to have the education. You don't have to know right. everything. You don't have to have everything down and fi figured out. And mm -hmm. and we barely knew anything, but we learned as we went. We had Literally, a desire to, to obey. Day. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And, he, and he helped us to succeed. And the mm -hmm. coolest thing about this project, what I love, is that it's not ended. It's multiplied, right? Yes. Right. Will you tell us what's coming next for Just Like Go Jesus? Ahead. All right. Well... I remember <laughs> we was we was working on this and we all excited and then she has this another Holy Ghost idea and she was like just like Jesus children's book I mean coloring book and so a coloring book we're gonna make I, I a printed coloring book. I, yes. I had printed off the pages that he had sent when he first started drawing them and I had them oh, on my right. desk and oh, Brooklyn sorry. asked if she could color them and I'm like oh my word that kids would right. love to color these. So that was in the back of my mind while we were doing this book. That she printed. 
Right. And so, like, no color. So Brooklyn's mind as a child automatically goes to what she should do. Oh, I know how to fix that. Let me color. And then she was like, okay, there you go. Coloring yeah. book. So now we have a yes. coloring book coming out. Got a Terry worked hard to do, yes. and it should be out soon. We just have to finish formatting it. But Yeah, so yes. if it's not out by the, the release of this podcast, yes. it will be out very soon. Yeah. So yes. we hope that y'all get it, too. My, my kids are already super excited. I told them about it ahead of time. And, there, like, will be, <laughs> and there will be a new page. A new spread Ooh. that wasn't in the original for the coloring book. So. Yeah. Hey the now. one more job that's in the coloring book career Another that was job. not yes. in the original. Okay. A little cliffhanger there. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah, we won't even tell them. It'll be a surprise. I love it. Yes. <laughs> Isn't it so simple that a child would walk up to that and that, that idea like we were talking about before, like just simplicity of a child, but the profoundness of a child, right. you know, just like. They can make things so easy, mm -hmm. and we make things so complicated. You know, we just will muddy up water sometimes, and they just look at that like, can I color that? And you're like, oh, my mm -hmm. gosh. That was there the entire time. Yes, <laughs> yes. Like that, that, what, no, thank you, Holy Spirit, that I have a daughter that likes to color. You know, it's just right. beautiful the way that stuff works out, and mm -hmm. we just get to sit back and just be the recipients of that obedience in your guys' yes, and that is amazing. Awesome. That is thank awesome. You. Awesome. You all Our are, pleasure. You guys are a blessing to the body of yes. Christ. Aww. And we thank really you. believe this book is going to really help and bless and minister to lots of people of all ages. So yes. thank you guys. Thank you, Lord. Thank y'all. Yeah, thanks yes. for having us. No, this has been a pleasure. Uh, we want to say thank you so much for, for tuning in and checking out this winning conversation. You guys, again, this is such a joy. We are so excited about the book. We will put the book uh, website in the show notes. Um, it is actually just like JesusKids.com. Um, there is social media. There are places to buy. We'll put those options to buy in the show notes as well. Um, we sincerely encourage you to stay on top of their socials and the things yeah, that they're doing sure. their instagram as also our instagram and our socials if you haven't liked or subscribed we encourage you that this comes out every friday and right. it is always fire um so <laughs> <laughs> you know bias opinion but whatever i believe it is um so i think you guys should be walking uh, following and watching that would be amazing and then we'll see you guys next week on friday <laughs>